Hey guys, today I will be showing you how to fly, um, learn to fly a three channel helicopter. And the first step is buying one. And this is pretty much the best option I have come up with. It's the SEMA S107G, as you can see there. It is a three channel infrared coaxial helicopter. And it's infrared, as you can see in the back there. It's not 2.4 gigahertz, so you cannot fly this outside. But it's not really big enough or fast enough to fly outside. And it's three channels because you have spin left, spin right, forward, backward, and up, down movement. So that's three different channels. And it's coaxial because it has two sets of counter-rotating blades. This set spins this way, and the other set spins the other way. And they spin at the same time. That's how you get your yaw and lift. Now this helicopter, it's probably, it's, it's about $20, depending on where you get it. I'll, I'll leave a couple links below if you want to buy it. And this is a transmitter that comes with... See, it. you can um, run two of them at once, that's nice, infrared, like I said. It takes six AA batteries, it's ready to fly, so it's pretty nice. And this thing is super, super stable, so that's why I recommend it to learn on. Um, it wasn't my first RC or my first helicopter, but it is really, really easy for beginners, so this is a good choice if you want to pick this up. And so then, once you have your helicopter, you can go to the next step. The next step in learning to fly your helicopter is um, understanding how it works. So as you can see, I have it bound there, you try and find, yeah, you can't, oh. Uh, Mm, there's a little green light back in there, but you can't really see it. You can see the it has a red and blue flashing light up front. Now on your controller, you have two sticks, and on your right stick, you have up, down, and left, right movement. And on a three-channel helicopter, up, down is forward and backwards. And that depends on, say, your helicopter is pointed straight away from you. If you give forward, since the front is that way, it'll move forward that way. And you get back, and it'll tilt back and come, whoops, come back this way. But if it is, say, pointed left that way, you give forward, it'll go that way and back. And if you give back, it'll come back this way. So it, you have to keep in mind um, about the orientation of the nose of the front of your helicopter. That's um, a really big part of flying. And on your left stick, oh, wait, yeah. And left to right movement is your yaw, so if you, if you give left, It'll spin to the left, and you give right, it'll spin to the right, so that's how you turn to fly around your room or whatever. And on your right stick, you have throttle, it's just up and down, there's no side-to-side -side movement. You can see there, it's your throttle, and that spins the blades. And like I said, they're counter-rotating, and that's how you produce lift. So, um, that's basically how a helicopter works, so... And you have your little trim dial in the middle here, and that, if your helicopter's spinning by itself to the left or right, you can adjust this to trim it out. So that's pretty much how a helicopter works, and once you're done with, you understand that, you can move on to the next step. The next thing that you want to do is you want to, once you're, um, you have your helicopter and you know how it works and you're ready to start flying, you want to go to a place where there's not really too many obstacles around you, It's there's not really any people, like if um, your family or anyone's around, make sure they stay far enough back so if you don't hit them and they can get out of the way in time if you're going to hit them. And just make sure there's no like pets or something, especially because they're usually scared of these things. And then you just like fragile, fragile objects or lamps or whatever shades, just stay away from them. And once you have your open space, you can go to the next step, which is actually flying. Okay, here we are with the next step of learning to fly your three-channel helicopter. As you can see, I have it, I have it bound to the remote right now. So what you want to do is you want to set it on the floor, wherever you're going to fly in your flying space, with the front away from you to begin. And you're going to want to bring the um, left stick, the throttle, just up enough to keep it... Bring it up to about mid-height in the room, just enough to hover, and then just try and get it to hover there. And like I said, this is really, really stable, so you don't really have to do much. So I'll show you here. You can see I just brought the throttle up till it... Let's see there. See, I'm not doing anything right now. That's why I said this is a great beginner's one. Look at that. I am not doing anything. So this is really easy to... Need a little bit of trim. Get back in the middle of the room. Okay, as you can see, just hovering slowly. I'm not doing any y'all. I'm not giving any input at all. You can see there, that is that is stable. So you just try and hover it around and do your best. Like you can see here, you don't really have to do much at all. You just gotta get it up, get your stick set right. And then it'll hover pretty much for you. Okay, once you're comfortable with hovering, you can move to the next step. So let's bring it over here. Land it. 
Okay, there we go. That was how you hover. So now let's move to the next step, which is adding some movement and yaw control. Go check that out. Okay, here we are at the next step in learning to fly your helicopter. So you want to put it back again, put it back down in your flying space, and then you want to bring it back up to a hover. Like I said, right there, just bring it to a nice hover. And then you're going to want to add some spin to it and just get used to how fast it spins. As you can see there, I'm just giving y'all. Just spin in place right now and just change directions when you want. And then you can go backwards just by giving, keep the um, front pointed away from you. So I'm just giving forward and back stick right now. Just go forward and backwards in a straight line as best as you can. Like I said, this thing isn't very fast. This is full backwards right now. And that's full forward. So, it's good for beginners. And then turn it sideways and go forward and backwards. Remembering that the orientation is different now. And then try going forwards just a little bit. But while spinning. So give, um, give full yaw. But then add forwards into it. You can see there. So that way you can do um, circuits. I'm just giving full yaw and a little bit of forward input. And it's doing a nice circle for me. And then once you're comfortable with that. You can move on to trying doing figure eights. I'm giving full four right now. Like I said, it's not very fast, but that's really good for beginners. And it's just so stable. It's definitely what I recommend as your first helicopter. And just after you're comfortable with that, and it's just so easy to fly, you can pretty much do whatever you want and just have fun with it. Like I said, for 20 bucks, it's really amazing that they can produce stuff like this. Okay, I think that was good. You can, after that, you can just have fun with it. Okay, there we go. That was my tutorial on how to fly a three-channel helicopter. Um, please let me know if you have any comments or questions. Just give me a little comment down in the comment section and give us a thumbs up if you found this video helpful or you liked it. And please subscribe to my channel to keep more videos like this coming out. And you can check out my um, review of this. I'll put a link below. And I'll put a link to buy this, and stay tuned for other videos. See ya.